have seen Hellboy back as kids. Can't believe this came out in two oh never mind. 2019. I thought it came out in 2004. Well you know why? Sorry about that. Uh, cause I could have sworn it came out much sooner than that. Unless this is a remake. I don't even remember though. And that is one neat man bear pig. Anyway, I see why South Park got the idea from that. Um Basically, besides the sharing that, because I love sci-fi, I mean, at least, maybe like 85% of the time, because to be some, like, movies I'm not really interested in, I just had to make a little rant, because I wanted to do a reaction of One Piece, I'm um, considering that I have to take a break from uploading the Olympics or whatever, if for the ones that may be interested in watching those. Um, I actually have two copper strikes, if you... Basically, I've not seen that video yet, which I'm sure the majority of people that may be subscribed to my channel have, because I'm surprised I am getting a decent amount of views for all my videos so far. I'm trying not to upload too much, but I just had to upload something while I'm in the moment. So, this would be like a little rant I want to do for now, and then the new arc of the One Piece reaction I want to do, or at least starting a new arc that I'll be reacted to, will be uploaded sometime tonight, because basically... I have no problem uploading One Piece. I'm surprising other, I'm surprised other people have issues uploading it. But besides that, I just had to just get this off my chest. Plus, I think the show is adorable. I just haven't watched it that much lately, or I have not been in the mood mentally for uploading Onion. And he's like a giant. Um, what is he? He's not. He's not celery. He's a giant cheese stick. Interesting. Yeah, basically, apple onion is all about food. Delicious. If you're not asexual, you may not understand. A little joke I want to share. The reason why I don't like Cartoon Network as much as I used to. Sorry for not getting straight to the point. I just don't do that on YouTube. I just don't. Um, it's actually also to see Bob's Burgers American Dad. Honestly, it is. But the problem is... How am I going to explain this? Oh, now they push American Dad late. Okay. But sorry about that. I'm getting off topic is every time after, let's just say, oh, I need to watch the Avenger Brothers again. Nice. They're going, ba they're going backwards, I think. Um, I don't like the jellies that much. Naruto Shippuden, and then Samai Jack. You know, I think I've seen all the Samai Jack episodes. It's been a long time. The reason why I don't like the schedule, okay? The reason why I have had to repeat myself for the thrice, um, you know, time here is... Nothing but let me just get closer. Okay, the Miss with our combo from six. Oh, this is just ridiculous. All the way to eight. We got two times ago. All the way to ten. Craig the Creek is, it's meh. I mean, it's definitely one of the better shows compared to both two times ago. Go by my opinion. Then that runs from ten thirty all the way to noon. Which is when we actually get more Tea Times to Go episodes. Hope you can actually see the screen decently. Two, basically, Gumball airing at one. And then, again, ordering to three, more Craig of the Creek. And then, ordering to five, Total Jamarama. Uh, it's, it's, it's so, so, I guess. All the way to boy six, which is supposed to be a buttload of Tea Times to Go episodes in, in one take. I don't know why it's like that. To seven, the maze would have gone ball twice, and up on onion, which basically doesn't get much attention. It's a really good show. It is my opinion. I mean, it may not be that popular for Cartoon Network wise, but I used to watch it all the time. What the heck is he doing? Speak for yourself, you giant sandwich man. You know why I'm sorry about that. It's just all it's just like a whole show of of basically food. It's awesome. But yeah, I just don't like the way Cartoon Network is now because it's nothing but two times to go. It gets on my nerves. I'm sorry I, I apologize. It's it's as though we're basically having North Korean propaganda, but the Cartoon Network version. Because you basically get the same stuff over and over. Imagine What's really depressing, though, if you actually look up North Korea, um, how people wake up in the morning, I think it's called the North Korea Anthem or something. It's really, really scary. It is. Basically, people had to listen to this depressing music because of their fucking president, Kim Jong-yuk, and how they basically are brainwashed in order to actually worship him and had to be soldiers. 
honestly, I feel awful for people that are North Korean because they had to be born like that. And especially if they go against him, well, what's it, it doesn't get pretty. They can get their families killed and they be, be slaves for who knows how many years. It's not pretty. It isn't. Especially if you basically have like a certain religion. Yeah, don't recommend visiting, unfortunately. But it's kind of like that, if that makes sense. It's just so bad that you your brain would just automatically feel depressed. Or, but yet, it just would feel like it's in a meh type of state. Like for me, since I do struggle with political depression myself, if I actually haven't worried that enough, um, I mean, I try to have the inspiration to actually make videos and whatnot, right? However, though, it's just Cartoon Network has died. Why I'm saying that, you ask. Like, Dale, why are you saying <sighs> Cartoon Network died? Well, this is all we get. Honestly. I'm an onion. It's a really good show it is. It's just that... Um, uh, if I could just count this for you. Okay? One, two... Okay, I'll just cut by twos. Four, six, eight. Okay? For gumbo-wise. Right? Then again, if I can actually go further into schedule... Sorry for the lighting, by the way. Oh, I think I went too far. Okay, so basically, there's like eight episodes of The Maze Runner Gumball. Not too bad, I think. Even though this is on a daily basis, which is too much. Two times go. Two. Four. Six. Eight. Right? Okay, then let's continue. Ten. A dozen. Gumball, I, I, think, I, lost, I think I lost count. Oh, yeah, I lost count. That, uh, Coconut Cream Pie, 13, Pure Pointing, 14, Open Door Policy, 15, Crazy Desire Ireland, 16, and The Time Show, 17. It's ridiculous. Honestly, I, I understand that Cartoon Network's doing this because, well, basically kids don't get on enough of their house because of COVID. We actually could just brainwash them to basically watch well, T-Test Go over and over and basically repeating the same ads over and over. It drives me insane. But growing up, okay, as a little boy in the mid-2000s, Cartoon Network wasn't like this. It was not like this. It gets me a headache. Seeing the same commercials over and over and over. I don't understand why Cartoon Network thinking this is a good idea, you know, for kids. Like, they're, they're not going to have much diversity. The reason why is because everything is streamed now. Because... Since we're quite advanced in technology now, we can watch anything online. I get that. However, though, this not seeing what happened to <laughs> What happened to that? You're right. You're right. Hold on. Wow, they'll cover the spikes. Wow. Um, okay, I need to watch more Apple and Sorry about that. <laughs> Honestly, I love, I mean, I, I used to watch this all the time. It's just, I didn't get the mental state to do so. Okay, I'm so, I apologize. I'm getting off topic. The reason why it's just Cartoon Network has gotten so far downhill is just because of how we get to watch all of these shows online, right? And yet again, a lot of like younger children that be watching this network, right? I mean, let's just say for like seven to ten, right? Because well, I mean, I think Cartoon Network should be around that age. I don't know. Okay, I'm thinking about Nick Jr. Like under the age of seven, right? The thing is, is that we basically don't have like, I mean, as usual, Adventure Time. M m uh, the Miss, what's it called? The Marvelous Miss Adventures of Flapjack. Chowder. Um, Eddie and Eddie. Let's see, Dion wants another one. I think it's Time Squad? If I got the name right? That's old, old school, by the way. Um, Scroll Boy. Cow and Chicken. My Jeff Hunter's a Monkey. The Adventures of Juniper Lee. Hi, hi, Puffy, I'm Yumi. And one thing I do like, though, is how basically Cartoon Network actually has this about kids that are basically being active and whatnot. I like seeing this. This is awesome. I just want to show this very quick. My name is Zachary, and I love karate. I've been doing karate since I was seven years old. I like karate because it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bugs Bunny will be good at karate because he will be too smart for 
Hey, he's adorable. See, because I'm an alka, right? It's so inspiring. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Here's the problem. No more rules. No more for the darn ninth time. I've seen this darn commercial. I don't know how many times. That okay. That's one thing I like to see. That little drawn um sport thing um that Cartoon Never does. Just for basically um you know children that are actually getting into like ac activities and whatnot. It's so adorable. Just actually like see stuff like that. And I'm an uncle myself, so it's really heartwarming to see that. And I think this is kind of cute though. Even though it's definitely much different than it used to be, and I cannot believe they'll be having a Paw Patrol movie coming out. Like, literally. Honestly, my, I think my youngest nephew and niece watch Paw Patrol. It's adorable because I got the pill on the back. I am a, a kid at heart. That's why I like to upload videos like this. Literally, even though I like to have more, ow, my foot. Um, I'm a mature audience. It's just that, basically, this scene cartoon work like that, except for, for that, um, you know, just showing, like, just showing kids about, like, the activities and dreams they like to achieve. That is what I like to see, though, because it should be like that, honestly. And basically, that boy is really smart for his age. Okay, because I think my youngest thing is she's, she's around his age, I think. She's, um, Dion, how old is she now? I think she's 11. They're, they're aging up there. It's, it's hard to believe when I last seen them, they were, like, around basically 10 or 5, give or take. Oh, my goodness. I miss my nervous and nieces. But honestly, Cartoon Network has like flunked, right? And I'm sure a lot of kids, for any any kids out there, this may their comments may get removed because this is seen as child friendly, right? You know, this swear a couple words. Um, I'm sure you get tired of seeing two times go every day, right? Or video at the base of Ragoma every every morning. I, I get tired of it because the thing is, growing up. We had a lot of diversity for Cartoon Network. I mean, with all those shows that I mentioned, that's like not even half. Okay, you even got close to some of my journey friends. Totally Spies used to be on Cartoon Network. Um, the Grim Adventures of Billy Mandy. That's another one. Um, Mucho Lucha. That's an old one. A lot of people don't even remember. I might need to do a reaction then in the future. Hopefully, I still have my YouTube channel um, in the next three months. That's why I just sent another account notifications. And I can actually need one more. It would have to be Symbionic Titan. That is a classic. I think it does, like, for the older audience. To me, at least for, for, like, teens and young adults like me. Plus, the guy's really cute. I mean, the boys. Um, excuse me, I like to use that term better. He's really, really cute, though. I don't remember his name. It's been a long time since I watched that. I think it was, like, 13 when it came out. It's, it's a long time ago. 15, give or take. But I just had to make a little long rant because... It drives me insane. Like, this is how we get in Cartoon Network. I don't like it. Especially since I don't have DVR to record shows and whatnot. And how to watch everything live. I do get really irritated seeing two times ago airing for like the, to the 215th time. Can I just watch something else? Honestly, I don't like Cartoon Network like it used to be. This is the same. They keep playing the same commercials though. I mean, for like... Next episode of Total Drama or new episode of Total Drama Rama, we're just we'll, we'll be playing this for like 50 times in one day. It gets tiring. Like, imagine that's just in one day, by the way. Like, every commercial break, and then the next day, it drives me nuts. I'm just thinking, Cartoon Network, you gotta change it up if you want to actually have people. How do I say this? If you want to have people to subscribe to your network or whatever and this being more engaged you need to have more diversity literally it's like us though you're going to new york okay and you can only speak english yet again your your mother language is mandarin or punjabi or even um indonesian for example this to be a little bit random or navajo okay like it would be unfair that you basically have a state that cannot be open to other languages being spoken. Like, what's the point of living there if you basically get humiliated or discriminated? It's not fair on that part. This to actually put down, like, a whole group. Because, oh, English is the best language on Earth. No, it isn't. Okay, there's no best language. Honestly. I mean, maybe depending where you live, but everyone speaks a different language for a purpose. And, you know, that's just how I feel about Cartoon Network. Just, like, no diversity. I don't like it. And I, I guess I 
maybe maybe I do feel a little bit depressed because growing up, I mean hell, I didn't have depression until I think I can start hitting high school. That's when it starts to um happen. At least I gotten like signs of it, but it wasn't near as bad as it is now. But the thing is back then, I always get so hyped up when there's like a new episode of a, a show that will come up. Like I remember there was like a new episode of Rugger Show. It's supposed to be the space one. I got so hyped up when I saw that. Or back when Teen Titans Go was more fresh. I remember just seeing like, oh, there's a new episode like once a week. That's nice. Or not just seeing it daily. Right? Like, at least seeing it maybe like a couple times a week. Like, oh, Teen Titans Go is on. Nice. Right? Like, it's as though you're eating too many of these bushes baked beans. You know, it's already empty, right? You're just eating this on, on a daily basis, it's not healthy, right? I mean, you're gonna basically get constipated. That's one thing, and you can probably get sick, even though I go through a lot of these. I love Bush's Big Beans. It only costs like $2 at Walmart, so I'm salivating here. And one thing I want to share, this would be a little bit off topic. Um, it's almost 8. Oh, yeah, I definitely need to leave, because I already got one piece done. Oh, I can't even get the damn... Are you, Dion? You messed up, did you? Yes, I did. Oh no, I can't get the damn bottom of that, the can, top opened. Uh oh. Are you kidding me? Shit, I need. It's stuck in there. Oh, no, I got powerful fingers. Or not. Well, I guess it's stuck. I want to show the little bacon that's actually stuck in there, but. Yeah, I can't get it out. Stupid can, oh well. Well, I won't be able to get my favorite meat in there, but. Sorry about that, I've been playing with the can for like a minute, because the thing is, there's actually bacon in here. I don't know why the heck I didn't eat that, because I guess I want to do a beetle on it, because I love bacon, it's so delicious. But, basically that's what it's like. And I'm gonna toss this out because I am tired of it. Crow for tea times go. Has got to go. Pun intended. I'll keep the fork though. But besides that, Cartoon Network has really died. I mean, well, at least by looks of it, like it's like retiring or kind of. Unless they could do something like the, the network to actually improve again, then I'll be happy. And one thing I should have shared before I do cut this off. Um, is the cartoon bumpers. If I can actually <laughs> show that on the YouTube TV, I, oh, man, I'm getting too lazy to talk about this then. Basically, ahem, cartoon bumpers, I forgot to add this at the beginning. Okay, I, I apologize for making this video long. I just have so much in my mind when it comes to <coughs> cartoon number alone. Cartoon bumpers. Was this like a little special crossover during commercial breaks that, um, Cartoon Eric used to did um, growing up for me back when I was like nine or ten or something and I mean it's been a long time since I've seen this you would actually have basically characters right the cartoon characters from other universes having a crossover with each other we don't have that anymore I miss that that's just that's why I got so hyped to being a Cartoon Network fanboy myself, and even maybe buy the merchandise that we actually have back then, and even playing the games that they had on the Cartoon Network site. I'm like, this is long gone. Unless we could probably find that somewhere. I don't know. But if I can actually share this, because this is how slow my MacBook is, right? Bear with me. Um, yeah, I'm not kidding. This is like a good example. If I can actually just show like this one random clip, and that's Pussy Jimmy. I used to have a crush on him growing up from Editor and Eddie. Um, I think that's why I got, I like boys that wear braces. But you actually got the professor from the Papa Girls doing a crossover of Dexter because they're both professors, right? And you actually get Ed, the dumb one from Editor and Eddie, that's just basically just watching them while he's eating. Where the heck is he eating? Stupid. I love Mandy. That brings up memories. Honestly, just imagine just seeing these cartoon characters, and you have to think Simon already for sharing this. That's his um channel, by the way. Um, if you if you actually haven't noticed that, I just want to share that little clip of basically this presenting, you know, these cartoons. 
that do crossovers. That is what I miss on Cartoon Network. I am not kidding. It, it just, it sucks that we don't have that anymore. And I just want to read a couple comments. It said that Colin Chicken, Time Squad, like I mentioned, Robot Jumps, that's one thing I forgot. And I knew, I knew that was on Cartoon Network. I thought, I thought that was on Nickelodeon. Mike Lou and Og. Okay. Ship in a big city. Never got their own bumpers. Oh, okay. So that makes sense. Um, what else? Let's see. I'm trying to think if anyone has like a nostalgic comment. It'd be nice if they made some sort of attraction in relation to Cartoon Network City. Like a real life replica. Oh, okay, that's something else. Okay, here we go. No, I agree with Gray Fox here. Man, these things were so awesome. They really made Cartoon Network feeling more alive. No, there's nothing of it. I would definitely um, upvote his comment. Yeah, my map is really slow. I'm not kidding. I just click on it, but it won't even load. No, it's working. So, yeah, it's kind of sad since I kind of wish they continued these, but added on them to the newer shows like Lego Ninja. We don't even have that. Total Drama Island, aka Total Drama Rama, Crack at the Creek, and the base would have gone well, since a lot of them could work in the city since some of the newer shows take place in the city. Blah, blah, blah. And we see by Jack Jack, and Jelly Boy. Uh, good old times. I wish they still aired this stuff. Luckily, there's a new show coming today this June. A new show? I gotta check that out, though. But yeah. See, I just like reading all this. Honestly. But yeah, if you, you definitely get where I'm coming from. It just sucks that Cartoon Network is like this now. It's, it's, it's upsetting me, kind of, because where is the creativity? Where is the connection? If that makes sense, right? We don't have that. And I forgot another show, Robot Boy. That's old school. So, you know, I really appreciate Simon for actually sharing that um, video. But yeah, um, it just sucks, literally. But that's what happens though. Things change. Things die. That's just part. That's healthy in the normal part of life. But I just wanted to share this before I shook off my walk. Because, well, like, what the hell happened? Part of my language. But. Kirsten number screwed up. <sighs> Enough said. I just cracked my yarn. Show your dad. <laughs>